Hello everyone, welcome to the press conference of the Croatian national team a day before uh, we start the match against England for the European Championship. Here we have the coach and the captain of the Croatian national team. And of course, perhaps you can address the questions first to the player and then uh, we, you can inquire about the training. So please do, uh, well, raise your interest about the questions that you want to direct. Mr. Marcelo. Smart. I expect an English team that is going to be very aggressive, very powerful from the very beginning. And it's going to have its public also inside uh, at the beginning of the Euro. And I uh, expect a very strong game. Up to us is to give whatever we can, all we can, to do as much as we can. And we'll see how the match is going to develop further on. We are very well prepared. We have worked very well in the last seven days. We have prepared ourselves from the English team and uh, I'm sure that the nuances are going to make the difference. So, yes, we are ready and we are looking forward to tomorrow's match. Well, that arrogance, it's not so much related to the players and to the English national team, but to the people around them, some of the journalists, commentators, and so on and so forth. Recently, to be honest, I didn't really read much of the media. Uh, outlets and uh, I'm not really my mainstream to that I'm looking forward to the match and I don't want to bother too much of what's said on the other sides Mr. David Alvarez Well, it was a usual conversation after matches where you wish good luck to someone and uh, yeah, I wish them all the best in the finals. And that's it. I think that Mason has shown during the season 
that he is a very talented uh, player with lots of potential and that there is a great future ahead of him. So if he keeps working and uh, investing himself in the way he is doing that, he's going to be a great player in the future. He's going to be a very important part of the English national team. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Luca, I have two questions, if possible. The first one is, uh, this is, and uh, someone is complaining that people cannot hear. Uh, the journalist is saying that here it's everything fine and now he's been heard finally. So hello once again. Luca, this is uh, a very unusual Euro and it's uh, very unusual that uh, you're going to be in Croatia all the time and travel to matches and uh, how much is going to be the support of the fans at home significant to you? On the other hand, you don't have that kind of peace that you would need in unusual circumstances. And the uh, English are saying that the only advantage of Croatian national team is in the middle part of the field. How do you comment that? Well, first of all, it, the question was about the fans and the situation, circumstances, and the lack of the fans, right, yeah. Yeah, sure, we, we're going to miss them. It would be really nice if they could have come, come here and uh, in large numbers because their presence helps us a lot. And it uh, gives us an additional energy when it comes to the camp in Ravine. I don't see an issue with that. We feel very good there. We have our peace there, regardless of the fact that we are in Croatia in the hotel with other people, but we have our peace there, we have our space, so therefore when it comes to this everything is fine, everything is good. When it comes to the uh, prognosis of the English national team that they are better in every parts of the field, well I wouldn't go too uh, far into their details of those analyses, I think the Pitch is going to be the only place where tomorrow we're going to show who's going to be better and who's going to win at the end of the day. Once again, Mr. David Alvarez. Well, I feel great. I really feel good. It was a really long season, yes. But, you know, I managed to cope with all of the uh, pressure and hardship, if I may say so. So I feel really good. When it comes to playing for the national team, well, I shouldn't emphasize anything way too specially. It's a great honor. And also, it's an obligation. This is a great uh, race, the Euro. The expectations are great. Uh, our people expect a lot from us. Also, we do expect a lot from ourselves. And we are really looking forward to the Euro. And I, I hope that we're going to show our true self. Well, you would want me to tell you my entire approach, right? <laughs> well, as I said, I don't, I can't go into the details. I think that we've prepared ourselves pretty well, and uh, the coach has worked a lot with us, told us what to do, and we're going to show tomorrow in the field 
uh, what are we going to do and uh, what are we are going to try to exploit. Of course, we're going to try to exploit uh, whatever weaknesses there are, but tomorrow we'll see what's going to be that. Luca, can you reveal to us how is Charlie as an assistant to the coach? And uh, you know, you said that you're older than him, and uh, are, you, are you sure that anyone is going to listen to him? No, no, no. Charlie is really great. I think that he has adopted amazingly, and uh, that he's fully in, and he has uh, accepted. He has taken this very seriously, and it shows that through every single training, through any single conversation with the fans and I believe that the coach is very happy with uh, the choice he's making and uh, or made and uh, I think that it's very positive and I think that he's really in in, in great mood and uh, he's going to be really uh, ready to help is he is he something that uh, that raises his voice does he ever raise his voice well that's part of his character he was always, as a player, whenever he thought he had to say something, he was always there to say that in that way. Also, now, as an assistant coach, he does it in the same way. Whenever he feels that something has to be said, he says it. Whenever he feels that he has to raise his voice, he does that, but not as much. Can you remind the atmosphere before you went to Russia and now the atmosphere before the European uh, the, the Euro, the atmosphere in sense of the expectations from the national team. Well, the uh, atmosphere when it comes to us, it's really good in the team, among all of us that are part of this team, of course, that the expectations are great. We have uh, risen the bar of expectations very highly up in the World Cup. And uh, yeah, we we also have to be realistic. And uh, uh, I don't think that we have to go all the way to the end in every single championship. We have to go uh, match by match. And whenever we played into big competitions, I believe that we have uh, presented a very good game or good games. And sometimes some of the nuances has uh, perhaps prevented us from going all the way to the top. But due to this, we shouldn't think that we have to reach the finals every single time. We have to be very realistic. As much of self-confidence as we have, as much as we believe in ourselves and we think that we are a really great team, regardless of the fact that some of the players are missing. But the atmosphere is great and it's up to us. And uh, the first thing to do is we can do our best and stick to the coach's instructions as we've done this up to now and this has brought us to success and uh, we have to do the same thing in Euro. The colleague Mento. We can't hear you. Still, we can't hear you. Maybe uh, the other colleague can help you. Unfortunately, no. Well, due to the fact that there is no other questions for Luca, I'd like to thank. I thank you all for this. All right, he's going to try at Gabalich's computer or whatever device he's using. All right, here I am. I think we managed. Uh, there is a question for the captain. In the conversations with the English journalists in the last two, three days, there is an impression that the English are going to prepare a total offensive, and that they are going to maybe attack the three of the attackers. What do you think about that? Is that some, something that the that means they are looking down on you or they are aware that they can pressure Croatia as much as they can during the entire 90 minutes. Well, we'll see that. We'll see how things are going to go tomorrow and we're going to see how the match is going to evolve. Of course, that 
they are going to try to go in an offensive and aggressive way. They are playing at home and they are playing uh, in front of their journalists. They are, they are opening the Euro and I said that they are going to be very aggressive and very motivated but uh, same as we. So we are. And we're going to go in the field, we're going to try to do our best and we're going to try to play uh, the match as we agree and uh, we'll see if that's going to suffice. Uh, sorry guys, I, I hear some other voices. And now, uh, Luca is saying that uh, he hopes that he uh, they will know how to impose themselves as a team and they're going to try to uh, face the English team efficiently. So they're going to play the three players at the back in the defense. Well, we can go with the questions for uh, the coach, Dalic. Colleague Gavilic. Uh, there is a plane that flew about the uh, the the team that uh, the English uh, well about the pitch where the English team was training. There was a, a plane that flied over and hold the transfer and saying that most of the goals are scored by the Croatian team team from the left side. So he's repeating the question. There was a plane with a message saying that most of the Croatian goals are scored from the left wing. Are you going to give some special attention to this? Or is this uh, a special message? Well, we are aware that we're playing a big match against a big team, which is a host and one of the favorites of this Euro. And that, yeah, we're going to attack from all possible sides. We are going to have to be good on this. We're going to have to be compact. We have to be aggressive. We're going to have to fight hard, to play hard. And we're going to try to, uh, of course, impose our style of game. Of course, we are not going to just defend. We are going to try to uh, score. Of course, we're going to have want to have a good start. And uh, yes, we want to have a new self-confidence to continue uh, those uh, this game on. And of course, uh, we still expect very difficult game. But nonetheless, we have to be a very compact team. We have to be together, work together, fight together, and by possessing the game and uh, the ball to do the best. Uh, may you please uh, repeat the questions because the interpreter uh, couldn't hear the question. I mean, I couldn't hear the question because there were some other many voices at the background as well. And can you just take it a bit slower, please? Well, we are uh, aware of the opponent and its players and whatever system the English coach is going to use, we're going to be ready to face it. But uh, we know that they're going to be a very quality team, they're going to do a very good game and they have a great quality, especially in uh, attack or offense. We're going to try to, of course, face that as much as we can. But nonetheless, we want to be the ones that are going to play the game, that are going to possess the ball and have sufficient chances. We are not going to just defend ourselves. And uh, if England plays by four teams in the back uh, with three ones, it's even more dangerous. But we're going to try to, to do the best we can to face this pressure and uh, of course to empty the space as much as we can. We are going to try to pass us the balls in the game and give ourselves chances. Yes, we have prepared ourselves 
but I think that uh, another us, another they, are uh, can surprise each other too much. All right, and again, I'm I'm taking the floor again. The question for the coach. Can we hear each other? Yeah. The question for the coach. If the English are going to play with three players, that's going to be the f first time of the English coach. So he's ready to take some sort of risk over. Are you counting on that? Are you going to implement the uh, pressure that the Croatian team used during the World Cup? Well, let's see how, what they're going to do tomorrow. During the entire time, especially at the last time, they worked with the four players in the last line. But nonetheless, and uh, there is a great opponent, great game, and whomever plays, and it's going to be a, a you know a great standing. So there is not too much calculation on that. We are going to try to face the pressure as much as we can, and we're going to try to move as much further from our goal possible, as possible. I think that. If there are going to be three or four of them, it doesn't really make much sense. Nonetheless, we have to uh, prepare for whatever. So in this sense, we are not really thinking too uh, much about that. We want to be good. We want to be correct. We want to have an aggressive game and uh, to show our quality. Thank you very much, colleague. Foden for sure. He's a young player. He has lots of energy. He plays regularly in the city. Well, he, he was missing for a while recently as a playmaker, organizer of the game. I expect him to be in the pitch. I'm not sure if he's going to start or not, but I think he's definitely going to be one of the people that uh, is going to be there. Our colleague Gabalic, please. All right, Zlatko, when you mentioned Foden, can you say if you are going to put in the pitch some of the young players, um, maybe not the ones that are going to play for the first time, but they don't really have many appearances. Do you uh, prepare anything for some of the surprises? Well, yeah, we have a very quality team and we have lots of players that are really good. And I think that for tomorrow we have chosen the best for what we want to achieve and for what's the best to face uh, the English team. So we have prepared this team and this match and I think that the team is going to be really powerful and aggressive and uh, we have no issues in this sense. I know that some of the names have been uh, mentioned, but what we want to do is to be aggressive, compact, and according to my opinion, what is, uh, what's going to be the best we are going to do that, Mr. Simon Peach, I think. Well, I said in the League of Nations that England is a very great team that has come back to the top with lots of very great uh, players. And of course, uh, you know, they've had three clubs in the various top competitions, European ones. And I think that, uh, yeah, they have the capacity, they have the energy, they have the speed, they have young, ambitious players, uh, hunger of trophies. On the other hand, they are playing in... Uh, in their own stadium and uh, yes they're gonna have their fans there they have their quality in whatsapp uh, um, some 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 strange voices are appearing i cannot hear the coach i'm hearing some additional voices 
Luca is back. He's saying that Luca is as, ba as good as possible when he's getting older. So we have to be very, uh, we are very lucky uh, that we have younger players having the chance to play with him and to learn from him. And uh, Luca is here and I think he's going to last for a long time. Mr. Marcelo from TB Global. Unfortunately, we can't hear you once again. And if you want to uh, send or write ahead your question in the chat box, you can do that. Can you hear me this time? Yes. Good. During the conversations with the journalists, whew, what's the situation with Shimon Versalko? Is there any sort of fears about him? If I heard him well, because the sound is not at its best quality. Well, we believe that Shima Versalko is uh, developing, is getting better. Uh, he has, uh, yes, played few matches, too few, in order to get him back into his best shape. But on a daily basis, he's getting better and better. Against uh, the Belgian, has played the entire match. But yeah, we miss him in, in the way he, he should have been. He has had uh, all those injuries. And the best way to bring him back is through the matches. And I hope that he's going to be good, uh, ready for England. It's going to be a hard match and duty for him, but he's a professional and we're expecting a great match for him as well. He's getting better and better, but yeah, we can see that he wasn't in the team for a long time. There's no more risen hands. Well, if that's all, I'd like to thank you very much for your participation and thank you very much, Coach Dalic.